There are three big items to consider before starting a smart manufacturing journey. And take these words of wisdom because a lot of smart manufacturing initiatives can get twisted pretty doggone quick. And what happens when it gets twisted? They never get going. Think about it when you maybe have your IT or your MES staff, they have to get involved with corporate and vendors and all these other things. Oh man, it can get big, it can get hairy, and it can all of a sudden get very complicated and nothing move. It doesn't have to be this hard. Think progression. You'll hear us talking about that a lot. And then the journey becomes achievable. So let's talk about those three items you need to think about before you get started. Experimentation number one. It's hard to see the peak from the valley. It's just, it can be hard sometimes. But that doesn't, don't let that scare you from getting started. It can be exciting. And it can be really, quite frankly, the way a lot of manufacturers are right now, this is a necessary step. So start with small, steady steps forward. Now we're going to explore the concept of progression more, which is about making those small steps in, in devices and, and really replacing and upgrading. But experiment at the line, at the machine, or at the cell level. That's a great way to contain the scope and to learn. So build that confidence up by experimenting. Then number two, think practicality. Ripping out Functioning equipment and installing smart systems would be great, but it's not very practical. Now, if you want to do that, I'm your guy. You can email Chris directly at ECO. You can just send me a PO. We'll make it happen. But seriously, totally kidding, except for the PO part. Start with the plant goals and explore where they need to make improvement. This leads to an opportunity to make a system improvement and start planning for the data requirements. So just really think about what you can actually achieve, right? What what is possible and connect those goals to gaps and then start building your plan but you can really start from a, from a practical standpoint and number three this doesn't get talked about a lot but it's limits of authority what the heck does that mean that really can can be an intimidating factor there are just some things you just cannot get done on your own and it, uh, and others are required to really to get in and make it happen and sometimes it can seem like uh, congressional le legislation, right? So think about areas of improvement that can be pursued at a site level or maybe even at a machine level without having to deviate from that corporate spec or really get a, you know, a lot of different groups involved. Maybe you start really start that small progressive level and then take those practical steps moving forward. So those are the three big areas you need to, to be aware of to keep in mind as you plan out that starting point and think about those milestones you want to put in place as you prove out your smart manufacturing journey. You can do this and we are here to help.